It's common in solving systems of linear equations that we'll have to use parametric equations to describe the solution set. Let's do three basic examples of using parametric equations to describe the solution set of these equations. Starting with this first one, the idea is that we want to solve for the leading variable, and then any other variables we can assign to arbitrary parameters. The leading variable, roughly speaking, is just the variable in the front. So this first equation will solve for that leading variable, x. To do that, we'll add 3y to both sides, and then divide everything by 4. So we have x equals 5 plus 3y, and then we divide everything by 4. So 5 plus 3y divided by 4. Now we see that y is what we would call a free variable. It doesn't matter what y equals, we can calculate x accordingly to have a solution to this equation. Since y is a free variable, we'll assign it to an arbitrary parameter. A common choice is t, so we'll say let y equal this arbitrary parameter t. Then putting this equation in terms of t, we have 5 over 4 and 3 over 4y, which is the same as 3 over 4t. And so these are the parametric equations that describe the solution set for this equation. y is an arbitrary parameter t, it's free to be whatever it likes, and x is calculated accordingly, 5 fourths plus 3 fourths t. Any xy pair of this form will be a solution to this linear equation. We'll do a similar thing in this second example, although in this case we have the one equation, but we have three variables. So in this case, we'll actually have two parameters. But again, we'll begin by solving for the leading variable, which is x. So we'll move this other stuff to the right side of the equation, and then we'll divide by three. We would subtract 8y from both sides, so 9 minus 8y. And then we would add z to both sides, and then we would divide everything by 3. So there is our equation. In this case, y and z are both free variables. They can be whatever they like, and x can be calculated accordingly to get a solution to this equation. So y and z will both assign to arbitrary parameters. We may let y equal s, and let's say z equals t. Then these are the parametric equations that describe the solution to this linear equation. Just separating this fraction, 9 over 3 is 3, minus 8 over 3y is minus 8 over 3s, and z over 3 is 1 third t. So any triple xyz of this form is a solution to this linear equation. y and z can be whatever they like, and x is calculated accordingly. In this last example, we have four variables, so we'll end up with three parameters. It's at around this point with four variables or more, where we often choose to start using subscripts rather than different letters. So x1, x2, x3, and x4 are our four variables. We're going to begin by solving for x1, the leading variable, which will require us to move all of this junk to the right side, and then we'll divide everything by 8. And that looks like this. Add 3x2 to both sides, subtract 5x3 from both sides, and add 6x4 to both sides, and then divide by 8 to get x1 by itself. Now we see that x2, x3, and x4 are free variables, so we'll assign them to arbitrary parameters. Say x2 equals r, x3 equals s, and x4 equals t. Then, again, we can rewrite x1 in terms of these parameters. And it looks like this. Splitting up the fraction, we have 3 eighths times x2, which is r, minus 5 eighths x3, which is s, plus 6 eighths, that's the same as 3 fourths, times x4, which of course is t. So any ordered four tuple of this form, x1, x2, x3, x4 of this form, that's going to be a solution to this linear equation. x2, x3, and x4 can be whatever they like, and x1 can be calculated accordingly to get a solution to this equation. Note that in all of these cases, because we assign one of the variables to an arbitrary parameter, that variable can take on infinitely many values, and so these equations have infinitely many solutions. So that's how to use parametric equations to describe the solution of a linear equation. I'll leave links in the description to videos where we go over some more challenging examples with multiple equations and a parametric solution set.
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out. Lately, don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.